Governor Mayfield's position is that Section 84, Subsection 12 of the Electoral Act as amended 2002 does not affect him being a public officer and multi political appointee. In an ex party motion filed due to the urgency of the matter, his counsel Michael Zekerman noted that Mr. Mefile is in a dilemma, not knowing what step to take. He prayed an order of the court directing the defendant to maintain status quo pending determination of the suit. That is, no steps should be taken by any party that will hinder him from contesting. In a short ruling, Jesse Ahmed Mohammed ordered that the processes be served on the defendant and they should appear before him on 9th May to show cause why an order maintaining status quo should not be granted. Parties are now in a matter. None of the parties should do anything that would defeat the purpose of that suit. All parties, even without the court pronouncing maintenance of status quo or granting an injunction, once parties have subjected themselves to the authority of the court, they must never do anything. It's the day flight activities would have been suspended across Nigeria had airlines gone ahead with their planned strike. Air passengers traumatized at the development over the weekend arrived at the departure hall in Beats. They are glad their worst nightmare never happened as road travel is an option not worth considering at the moment. Yeah, well, it was a devastating um, moment. I, I, didn't, I felt very bad about it, but fortunately for me, the news came around 8 o'clock that the, the strike had been called off. And that's why I'm here this morning to get to Yola. Incidentally, I think I was just doing something online and I bumped into the news that they were going to suspend the um, um, flight this morning. It was a very shocking one and as well as a very annoying one because I was supposed to resume work this morning. In, in Lagos and for such a thing to happen suddenly was definitely a very distressing one for anybody. The Bailey Bridge, otherwise known as the Moro Bridge, along Ilon Yeti Road, is one of the major bridges along Kwara Ojo by the Republic border. Thousands of motorists ply the bridge daily. The Moro Bridge was constructed during the colonial era and renovated in 1981. Today, the bridge is on the verge of collapse. There is another problem on the on the Bailey Bridge again, with the federal government that federal Ministry of Works is undertaking, due to the mere fact that uh, they were the one giving this diversion bridge on to do. So, so also they asked them to do the pilot signatures which, as you can see, is ongoing. The federal government awarded the construction of the new Moro Bridge in 2017. It was meant to be completed in 2018, but the contractor requested for a review of the contract. And up to present, work has stopped on the new bridge. The Kwara State government wants the bridge to be fixed without further delay. <laughs> 